Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dalton, aka the Renaissance Man of the Internet, and welcome to Sex, Drugs, and Money, the show where I take the best stories concerning sex, drugs, and money and put them into a video compilation for you guys to enjoy. The show is starting in 3, 2, 1, go! Buy them all, yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning it up. Today's story is about Michael Burry, and yes, he's the crazy guy with no shoes from the big short. Michael Burry attended UCLA where he studied economics and pre-med. He later got his doctorate at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. He also worked side by side with his lifelong hobby of financial investing. He would often get so caught up studying for both that he would often just fall asleep standing. Now to the money part. Sorry guys, there's no sex or drugs in this episode. Michael Burry left his job in neurology to become a full-time investor and to start his own hedge fund. Now a hedge fund is basically a group of people who invest using borrowed money in hopes to make financial gain. In November of 2000, he started Scion Capital, named after his favorite childhood book. As his hedge fund began to grow, and by the end of 2004, he was managing over $600 million. In 2005, he focused on the housing market and predicted that the housing bubble would collapse in early 2007. He found this by looking through highly rated bonds and actually looking at the mortgages within them to find that default rates were high, causing the bond market to eventually collapse and the prices of credit default swaps to rise. A credit default swap is basically betting against the market, so when the bonds failed, Burry would win the bet and all the major banks would have to pay him out. This is called shorting the market. Burry invested all his capital into one big bet. For him, this ended up to be a big win because in the first quarter of 2007, he made his investors $700 million and took home a whopping $100 million for himself. That's enough money to buy 500 Lamborghini Gallardos or enough money to buy 5,364 2016 Honda Civics. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, don't click that subscribe button. It doesn't really make a difference to me. As long as you enjoyed the video, I don't get